Good day grade levels. welcome to this next lesson in week 35 where we prepare for your final exam by doing some physics questions. It says in the diagram below, not to scale, a ray of light PO is traveling from flint glass towards the boundary with crown glass. The angle of incident of ray PO, that's this one here, is 21 degrees. Um, and then it says write down Snell's law. So Snell's law basically states N1 over sorry n i over yeah n one over n two is equal to sine theta one over sine theta two. So Snell's law basically relates the ratio of the refractive indices to the angles of refraction. Now so that's Snell's law. This is the refractive index of crown glass and flint glass. They've given us a one point five two and one point six six. It says calculate the critical angle for the boundary between the two glass materials. So critical angle, the critical angle occurs when what? The theta is equal to 90 degrees. In other words, we want to find out when your theta 2 is 90 degrees. So now we're going to use Snell's law to work out your critical angle. So we know that N1 is going to be 1,52 and our N2 is going to be 1,66 and that's going to equal our sine theta critical angle over our sine of 90. So that doesn't make sense, it has to therefore be, yeah it has to be. Therefore, we're going to go 1,52 over 1,66 times by sine of 90 is equal to sine theta, the critical angle. So we're going to use our calculators. So we're going to go 1,52 divided by 1,66 equals multiply that with sine of 90 equals and that gives you 0, 0,9156 but I'm not going to round off. I'm now just going to second function sine the answer to get my critical angle, you can see the angle is 66,3. So theta c, the critical angle is 66,30 degrees. Okay, so now it says on your diagram draw a ray to show what happens to light r, the light ray PO, at the boundary between the glass surfaces and label the ray OX. Okay, so this has got a higher crit a high refractive index than this, okay? So because of that, it's going to go slower in here and it's going to go faster in here. And if that's the case, it is going to, because it's going, you can think of this, okay? Let me show you how you can think of it. Let's say you've got a track that is coming along, okay? It's coming along and this is the mud, okay? It's driving along, this is mud and this is road. So what's going to happen is that as it comes along from the mud to the road, this tire is going to hit the road first, okay? This one's going to hit first. But this tire is still stuck in the mud, so it's going to move away from the normal. So the light ray is going to be bent away from the normal because it's traveling faster now done that question. Now it says R ray QO is incident at the boundary at 40 degrees. So that angle there is 40 degrees. Now it says draw a ray to show what happens to light ray QO at the boundary between the two glass surfaces. Label the ray, ray OY. Okay, include the angle NOY as you're drawing. So now we're saying ray QO. So QO is also going to be bent a away from the normal. It's also going to be bent away from the normal. It says how does the speed of light in the crown glass compare to that of the flint glass? Okay, we've already spoken about this. The speed of light in the crown glass, because the refractive index is smaller, it's going to be faster than over here. Okay, so then it will be greater than. And that grade 11s is a question on your refractive indices and your light and Snell's law. Please make sure you know this work because chances are a very good chance that it's going to be in your control test this term. Have a great day.